scrapbookers, uh, this is Katie Scott and I am making this video as part of the blog hop for your December story, um, which is you can find at Get It Scrapped or Masterful Scrapbook Design. And this is um, the first page that's going to go into my um, Your December story. So what I tried to do was just gather a bunch of photos um, that kind of represented our life in the fall of 2013 before the crush of Christmas and all of the holidays. So this is, I, I think I'm just going to leave this, this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Um, I printed these out in Picasa using their photo collage. And one of the things that um, I really like about Debbie Hodge's um, Your December Story is that the first couple of pages start like um, in black and white and th not necessarily the photos but the backgrounds and so just like the Wizard of Oz starts in black and white and then all of the color comes in I'm going to choose um, this is a ledger sheet and it does have a tiny bit of color but it's very minimal and then this is just a gray and white and I really had a hard time <laughs> <laughs> deciding which which page I was going to use and I think I might even cut this part in half so it's different on the top and the bottom I'm not sure I might not um, <laughs> and so I also printed out a photo of myself in black and white um, this is a selfie and I take a lot of selfies when I'm in the bathroom <laughs> just you know so that I get to be in the picture so that is kind of an extra large photo of myself, and I don't usually print them out so large. And then I printed three, and I printed it in a square format because I've been doing Instagram so much lately that the square for format will remind me of the year 2013. These aren't in, these ones over here aren't, these are just wallet sized, so they're not, well, they're rectangles. They're not, um, in the square format but all of these on this side were and so I'm actually just gonna I have three other so I have a selfie of just myself and then I have a selfie of myself and each one of my family members so that's the basic layout of my page and then I'm just going to add a little bit of color over here so and I'm, I'm a little conflicted as to whether I want to Put that all the way up to the edge or whether I wanted to center it. I think I'm going to put it up to the edge even though these aren't up to the edge. Um, and I need to do something to kind of tie the two um, pages together. So I did a little bit of planning for this page. Uh, I've been making videos. I've been in the process of 30 days of scrapbook videos. And so most of my videos, um, I don't really, I don't do a lot of planning before I just press play. And I didn't do, this is about as far as I got with the planning. So that's about how I want that to look for the two page spread. And so um, in Debbie's example, she used um, like just scenes from our everyday life and I've sort of done that here, um, but my my page is, I think my two page spread here is a, quite different than hers. Um, I used a photo of myself instead of a photo of my surroundings. Um, what else? She had, and I thought about doing this instead, just a, the layer over here. I could even do it over here to tie that in. Um, to tie that camera bit in, but I didn't want to have too much going on on this side of the page as far as color. Um, let me just see how that looks. So I like to make these process videos. I watched one of them um, the other day uh, myself, and I really do ramble, so <laughs> I think if you're somebody who's really looking for um, a process video that, you know, gets straight to the point, that might not be, I might not be your best choice. <laughs> 
because I oftentimes I'll just turn on my um, I'll turn on the camera and just start talking and I think um, what what I would like to think of my videos as is something that you could just kind of listen to as you're scrapbooking rather than just to watch it. Um, <laughs> But I'm I'm for, I'm getting I think that my videos have gotten a little bit better. Um, there's been a few funny ones where I'm in one of them I sang, "What the Fox Say." So you can look for that one. I think it was day number five. Um, <laughs> and I've I've played with my camera angles, uh, and I'm getting a knock at the door. But this is my page so far. You will I'll be right there. Um, you'll be you'll be able to see the finished project on my blog, Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking. And as you can see, I have busy pages because I have a busy life. Thank you for watching.